Hi guys, this is Mark from StickerShop23.com. I get people asking me this question over and over and over again, so I'm going to give you a final answer for it. How do you wrap a nose cone? Okay. Wrapping a nose cone isn't as hard as you think. Uh, by using the proper materials, proper tools, it's a really simple job. The things you'll need to do to wrap, obviously, is you're going to need to wrap. Today we're going to wrap this nose cone with these flames. Okay. Uh, you're going to need a squeegee of some sort, Bondo spread or something like that. If you don't have it, even a good credit card, something like that, that'll work. I really like these because they have a uh, soft side on the back, which is good for some stuff. There's a, a ruler so you can measure things, a sharpie to mark stuff, and some masking tape. And a soft cloth of some sort. I just use a piece of uh, paper towel is all we need. Okay, a little bit about the material that I use. This is automotive wrap, and it's designed for wrapping cars. You ever seen those cars that drive by that look like a whole advertisement? That's what this material is made of. This stuff is great for a couple of reasons. The first reason, if you actually feel the sticky side of the decal, okay, and you can feel it on the, on the backing of it, there's actually a pattern to it. And what that pattern does is it allows air a pathway to escape at any time. It also makes it so the actual full amount of sticky isn't sticking until you really push it down. And what that does is again, it allows you to reposition decals, okay, if you need to move it or something, unless you've already pushed it down, you can actually pick it back up and move it. The other great thing about this stuff is if we take it, take it into that, and you stretch it, it's really solid, it doesn't do anything. But with a little bit of heat from a heat gun, you can actually use a hair dryer if you want to, It'll take a little more effort with the hair dryer. If you warm the decal up, put a little bit of heat to it, the decal will actually stretch and shrink as much as 35-40% if you want it to, even more if you really had to. Once I get this really warm and soft, just hold on to the edge and see how much that stretches. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to get ready to start applying the decal. Now the most important thing about putting on any decal is laying it out properly. And when you do a, a cone, there's only a couple of extra steps you have to do. The first thing we need to do is find out what the circumference of the tube is, or the, the widest part of the nose cone. Okay, and all I do is I wrap my tape measure around it and see what I've got. And where it matches up, it shows me 17 and a half inches. Okay, so if we do the math, 17 and a half inches, I want to make my decal in three pieces to go on it. So 17 and a half divided by three is a little over five and three quarters. Okay, I'm going to add about a quarter of an inch for overlap on each side. So if we figure that out right, we have three pieces at just a little over six inches. Okay, but if you take a look at the decal, what I've done is I've marked it into three sections that are each six and an eighth inch wide. Okay, they're the full length of the nose cone. I've picked the part of the pattern that matches my decal for the front of the nose cone. Okay, so we know where the front of the nose cone is and the front of the pattern is. The other thing I've done, if you've noticed, I've marked it part one, one, two, two, and three, three. That way, when I put it on the nose cone, I know which section goes next. So, what we do is we split it into the three pieces, and about the third of the top of the nose cone, I'm going to take, again, about a third of the center of the decal, and I'm going to just draw a little arc, okay? That gives you that curve to match your nose cone. Once I've got that set out like that, it's not really that important because this is going to actually be too big and we will be trimming it later, but this is a good starting point. Now, I'm ready to cut the decal into some pieces. Okay, I've got my decal cut into the three pieces. You can see how I've got them kind of cone shaped, so they're going to go on the best. And I found the one that's the front and center of my nose cone, and I've got the front and center marked on my nose cone. Now we take a look at it. As you can see, it's a little bit long, which is fine. It's a little bit big on both sides, so we know right where it's going to fit. Okay, the extra overlap is no problem. I always make them a little big so you can trim them to fit. Okay. So we're actually ready to do the, the start the application. Now, we get to the backing of this, and we peel it off just like you would any other sticker. If I can get a hold of it here. There we go. Now, for this, you might need some help, but uh, I'm going to try and do this solo today. Show you how easy it is. Okay? Now, the first one's going to go on right up the center. Mark the center. And you're going to just start by just lightly putting it down. Okay? You don't put any pressure to it yet. And see how it peels right back up if I stick it down. I can push on a little bit and peel it back until I get it right where I want it to be. Okay. Now if you don't have any wrinkles down the center, 
you're good. Now if you look, I got a little bit of a wrinkle right here already. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. No big deal. I'm going to peel it back up and I'm just going to push it down nice and smooth. Okay. Now, it's nice and smooth. Okay. Down the center. And all we're going to do is we're going to work from the center out. Okay. Now when you get to this point up here where the curve really starts, it's going to try and want to wrinkle on you. Okay. That's the hardest part about putting these decals on. But Remember, a little bit of heat, we'll warm it up. The decal will actually shrink a little bit first when you heat it up, and that'll probably be enough to get that wrinkle out. If not, you just work it in some more. So we get our squeegee. In this case, I'm going to use the soft side. Okay. Now, if you don't have one of the soft, you can get a bondo spreader and put a little soft towel over it. Works great. Okay. The only reason you want it soft is just so you don't scratch things up. Remember, the decal does have an ultraviolet laminate over the top of it, and the laminate will protect it, so you're not going to scratch the colors off or anything like that. Um, just a soft side to make it as pretty as you can. And what we're going to do is we're going to do it like any other decal. I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm going to work each side outwards, pressing it down. And as you can see, i got a little bit of a wrinkle here, so I just stretch it out, and I work that section out. And i got just a tiny bit of a wrinkle right there again. Okay, and your fingers work really great for that. But if you can see that wrinkle, I don't know if you can or not. I'll try and get you a little bit of a close-up. You can see it right here. There's a tiny bit of a wrinkle. Okay, I take my heat to it, and I warm it up for a bit. Now, the hair dryer will take a little bit longer, but with the heat gun, as I'm heating it up right now, the wrinkle's almost all the way gone, okay, before I've even touched it. It's actually started to stretch and shrink as I heat it up. Now, if I put a little bit of pressure to it, boom. That wrinkle's gone, okay? Just like nothing. And that's what's great about this automotive wrap. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start in the center and start to work it out. And again, I'm starting to get a couple of little wrinkles. No big deal, because we're just going to go back over those in a minute here. And there's a whole bunch of them this time, so this will be great. I'll show you how to do it. So again, I've got a few wrinkles. Don't know if you can see them. They're just on the ends, but we're going to heat it up. Okay, and get it nice and warm. And you can see they're already starting to go away. The heat really softens the decal up and allows it to shrink a little bit at first. Okay, now that I got it nice and warm, I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to push it down with my finger. Now be careful with it. You're working with a hot item, you know. If you get it hot enough, you could burn your fingers or whatever. But I know we're rocket scientists, so we don't have to work, worry about that. Okay, now I'm going to go up here towards the top. And it's going to get a little tougher at the top because I got this curve again. So we're going to start where we left off before, and I'm going to work these pieces outwards, and I'm going to keep going. And again, I got a little wrinkle here, and that's a little bigger than I want, so I'm going to pull it up again, and we're going to stick it back down. Okay, and I'm going to go towards the top. I've almost got enough here, so I've got to peel that back to get that wrinkle. There it is. Okay, and I'm going to work my way in this direction a little bit. A couple of wrinkles there, no big deal. Yeah. That's more wrinkle than I want there. So again, I'm going to pull the decal back off, and I'm going to put a little tension on it, stretch it out, and I'm going to get that wrinkle right out of there. You can see I've even got a little bubble right here. No big deal. With that pattern on the back, I just push it, and the bubble goes away. It's gone. It's got a pathway to go out. Okay? So we're going to heat up again a couple of spots that I have wrinkles, just like we did before, and then we'll be ready to put the next piece on it. Most of that wrinkle out. There's a little bit right here. Maybe one more. There's one right there. That one's gone. Little wrinkle right there. It's gone. And we're going to do the same on the other side. All right. Well, I've got the first panel on. I've got pretty much all the wrinkles out that I need to. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trim it. Now this particular nose cone has the Van Carmen tip, so it has the metal tip that goes on the top, which makes it really easy for us. If you see, it hangs out a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to fold this over so it goes underneath the freaking metal tip, and that holds it in place. So just a little bit above the, the top of the de or the top of the nose cone, we're going to cut it, okay? And to get that to lay down nice and smooth, I'm just going to cut a couple little slots in it, so it makes a couple of little flaps. 
And once I got those, you can lay each one down where they overlap each other a little bit. Oops, that one didn't cut. Let me try that again. There we go. Once they overlap each other a little bit, they'll stick down and lay down nice and easy. Okay. And now that that's smooth, I got to trim the decal a little bit. Now, if you look at it from the side, I've actually made kind of a curve here. And we actually need this to be straight so it lines up with the next piece. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we'll show you with a piece of masking tape. I stretch out a piece of masking tape, and I go from the top center to the bottom. That's my straight line right there. Okay, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We've got a little less than a third up here, so we're good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and get a nice new sharp knife, and I'm going to run the knife right along that edge. Get a nice straight line down the side. You can use a ruler for this if you need to. Some of us don't have as steady hands as others. Today's a good day for me. And I'm gonna peel that little section off that I just cut off. And it should come right up if I can get a hold of the edge. There we go. Come on. Perfect. Yeah. As I peel that off, now you see we have a nice straight line. All the wrinkles are gone. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, I've got both sides trimmed. Now I've got a little overhead, overhang left at the bottom. And that's really easy. Again, a really sharp X-Acto knife. And you just run it right along the edge here and cut it off nice and even. Okay, I've got the first piece on, it's laid down, it's cut straight along both edges. So we're going to take the next one and layer it over the top of that. Now, we know we want about a quarter of an inch overlap on here, okay? And we want it to be straight up and down to the top. So we see how much overlap I've got. And I can actually take and mark this so we know about where it ends on both ends. And we'll be ready again to put the next piece on. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to peel the backing. If I can get a hold of it again. All right. Again, this helps if you have a second person to help you hold the other end. Keep it nice and straight. Well, again, we're going to go solo today. And I'm going to lay that down right at the marks I made. And we're going to set it on top. Just like we did the first one. As you can see, it goes from top to bottom. They lay together, and if you look already, the pattern is just starting to disappear. Everybody worries about the seam, but I promise you, your eyes are never going to see that. So the step we do now is exactly like we did the first time. We're going to take the squeegee, we're going to make sure it's nice and smooth, and we're going to work everything out. Now when you get to the edge, you're going to see it overlaps, and you'll see a little tiny bump where it starts to overlap. Don't worry about spreading it past that because we're going to do the same thing. After we get it, we're going to trim a nice straight line on both edges. Alright, as you see, I've got the second panel on. I've removed all the wrinkles going that direction. Now, the side that overlapped, you can feel where it overlaps, which is right about here. And we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side, so we're going to trim that to shape. Okay? You don't actually have to trim it if you want. You can leave it overlapped like this. I just kind of like a neat edge. Now, this takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of skill. Um, I will give you some extra vinyl when you do your decal, so if you want to stick two pieces together lightly and practice cutting through it, you can. But if you take and you look at that line that you're going to do, we did it with masking tape before. I'm going to do this one by eye, show how easy it is. Okay. Now I know over here i got good overlap, so I'm not too worried about this yet. I'm going to start my cut and I'm going to try and end it right about here. I can see right about where I'm going to cut. and I'm going to start at the top and just a little bit of pressure is all it takes to cut this vinyl. Okay, and I'm going to come straight down until I get it to right there. And that should be enough. To so I made that, that cut down the side, and I put just a little bit of pressure on it. And you'll feel it go through the first layer and not the second. So all it takes is a little bit of effort, and you can peel that edge right up. Okay, now I got a nice straight line. The patterns match. I still got a little bit of a wrinkle here. I'll hit that with some heat and smooth it out and we'll be ready to do the third one. Okay, as you can see I've got that side cut nice and smooth. You can barely even see that there's a seam there. I'm going to do like I did on the first one. I'm going to cut right along the edge to cut to the bottom of the decal and peel that off. 
I've also taken and cut the straight line on the other side like we did with the first one. I'll find that little edge to peel up and we're going to peel that off so I have a nice straight line. And then the last thing I do again is the top, just like we did before. We'll cut it and we'll lay right, those well, down. Well, we've got two pieces on now. We've got all the wrinkles out. We've got the edges folded over at the top. We're ready to put the last one on. And the last one goes exactly like the second one we did. All you got to do is line it up. Make sure there's a little bit of overlap on each side. Peel your backing off and start from the center and work your way out. It'll go just as easy as the other two did. All right, guys, I've got the third piece on. We did the same thing. I worked from the center out, got it so it's overlapping both sides. I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to run that line. As you, Again, you can feel where the seam is, and we're going to just cut right across the edge of it. Okay, you can see I'm faking it because I actually already made the cut. But <laughs> we're going to cut it right next to the other one, and then that piece will be really easy to just peel off. Okay. And then we did the other side the same way. You can see where it overlaps, or you can feel right here where it overlaps. I'm going to cut the line right next to it so there's about a quarter of an inch overlap. And then I'm going to peel that piece off. And again, don't worry if you go through too far. Cutting the bottom decal is not going to be a problem. It's not going to move or anything like that. And uh, so, as you can see, you can't tell where the seams are by looking at the rocket or by looking at the nose cone. Uh, the last thing we got to do again is we trim the bottom piece off so it matches the bottom of the cone. We match and do the same to the top. I've got it cut even with it. Again, I'll put a couple of little slits in it so I can fold it over. And once you get all of those on there, they're a little rough, so I might take a little heat to it and push it down. So it stays nice and tight. Those are all pushed down. I look back over the nose cone, see if there's any wrinkles, any bubbles I miss. There's a little bit of a wrinkle right there. Just heat it up and push it down. Again, the vinyl is really forgiving. It lets all the bubbles out. Everything else is nice and smooth. I got a little wrinkle right there. I'm going to hit that a little bit of heat and push it down. And you know what? I think we have a wrap. All right, guys, as you can see, we now have a sticker shocked nose cone. Okay? Some great looking flames on this rocket. It's going to look good for years. Okay? A couple of things I didn't mention at the beginning. Just some, some helpful hints. Okay, the first thing you always want to do it clean. Okay, wash your hands with soap and water before you start. Wash your nose cone. A little bit of rubbing alcohol in a rag works great. Wipe it off, uh, nothing oily on it, so you have a nice smooth surface for it to stick to. Once you get it stuck down great, it'll stay forever that way. Um, again, heat's your friend. Uh, hair dryer will work. I use a heat gun. It doesn't take much. Okay, as you start heating, it'll shrink a little bit first, which is going to get rid of most of the wrinkle problems you have. Okay, um, and then at that point it'll stretch. So if you push in, use your fingers and your thumbs to push any of those wrinkles out, the stretch it'll stretch them right out. Um, a lot of people ask about clear coating over these. When I send them to you, they have a clear UV lamination over it. The lamination is there to protect it from fading from the sun. Okay, it's designed for signs, cars, etc. So there's stuff that'll be out in the sun for years. So the UV protection isn't really great for rockets because they're only going to be outside for a few days at a time but it's great to protect the color. With that clear laminate over the top of it, if it gets dragged across the desert, yeah, it's gonna scratch it, but it's not gonna take the color off. Okay, so once you have a decal like this and you've got a cone that's all wrapped, you're gonna be looking great for years to come. Hey, thanks for watching. I can't wait to see your rocket all done. And remember, never fly naked.